Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved this makeup look using all new makeup products. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I completed this makeup look, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so the palette I will be using to create this eye look here is the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills Rivera palette. So first off, this is what the packaging looks like. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like, y'all. Finally, we got some color. Like, I've been so tired of them neutral palettes. Like, we finally got some color. I'm gonna do a more close up shot so you guys can really see. So, the inside, I really do love the packaging on this palette. I love the like metallic indigo shade, it really brings out all the colors that are in this palette. And I'm, I'm living for it. I really am. So there are 14 shades in this palette. There are eight matte shades and six metallic shades. So let's just get started on this look. So I'm actually going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills A12 brush and I'm going to first dip in Monte Carlo, which is this shade right here. So let's just work it up in the crease. So I do notice that the palette doesn't have as much fallout like the other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Y'all, they had so much fallout. Like it was bad, but this one doesn't. So that's really good. So how have you guys been? I miss you guys. I miss sitting here talking to you guys. I've actually been uploading, but I've been uploading more like hair videos. So I'm really excited to bring you guys back like a look and excuse my nails oh my gosh y'all don't even want to know the story about these nails okay so next you guys I'm gonna dip into the shade Bahamas right here which is this beautiful bold hot pink and I'm gonna use the same brush So the next shade I'm going to use y'all is Palermo, which is this shade right here. It's the pink metallic color and I'm going to use this on a Anastasia Beverly Hills A13 eyeshadow brush. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and spray it. So I'm gonna leave a little space right here. I'm not gonna bring the pink shade all the way into my inner corner because I will be applying a bold metallic yellow shade. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna take my Makeup Addiction Precision Crease Brush, but I'm gonna use this to apply this yellow shade in my inner corner. So I'm gonna take the shade Inheritance, which is this yellow, a metallic yellow. And I'm just gonna apply this in the inner corner. I didn't want to do too much color. I really wanted to do a look where it'll be easy for you guys to do as well if you do recreate it. So you guys, for eyeliner, I'm using this Super Last Matte Black Liquid Liner by Essence. And you can find Essence in Ulta. It's very, very affordable. I think this liner was $3. So, yes. <laughs> and it is super matte. I was looking for a matte liquid liner. And I really like it. And it's a new product for me. I haven't shown you guys this product a lot. So... So the lashes I will be using is the Pretty in Luxe Lashes, which is gorgeous. I love big, dramatic lashes. So this is what it looks like. So before I apply my lashes, especially if they are brand new lashes, I always trim the ends because the worst thing ever is wearing lashes that are too big for your eye because it will honestly irritate you throughout the day. It'll irritate your eye and it's just very uncomfortable. So you wanna make sure you trim 
the ends of your lashes if they are too long. Don't trim the front, trim the end. So I'm gonna be trying out the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. So this is what it looks like. You have to shake it up. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my face. Okay, so I wouldn't call that a mist. That was very harsh. I wouldn't call that like a mist. All right, so for foundation, I'm trying out the new CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Foundation. And I am using the shade Tan Golden. Hopefully, it's a good match. First off, the packaging on this foundation, I love. It's very simple, very sleek. It has the clear container, the black pump right here, and I love that it comes with a pump. And it also locks. So if you're a traveling makeup artist or just, you know, if you need to bring your foundation anywhere, you know, you won't have to worry about it like spilling out or anything. Just make sure you click it back and lock it. It has like a perfume scent to it. So this is one full pump. I'm gonna take my damp Sonia Kashuk sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of this out. So it's definitely a match. Wow, it looks like skin. It looks like I have no foundation on. Y'all can tell like there's no shine at all but it doesn't feel cakey or anything if you're using this foundation i just want to say make sure you prime good or just use like a really good moisturizer before you put on this foundation so i'm going to add one more pump so it's definitely buildable Ooh, this might this might be my new go-to foundation So the foundation looks really, really good, you guys. It is super matte. So if you do have oily skin and you're looking for a matte drugstore foundation, I would recommend this one. It blends great, it's buildable, it's affordable, and they have a nice amount of shades as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to concealer. And I'm also using the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Concealers. I have these two right here. Okay, so I was thinking that the shades would be like at the bottom or something, but they're not. So I think it's only on the packaging. So I will just find what shades these are and just list it in the description box for you guys. So the concealer has the same scent as the foundation. It can be overpowering if you're gonna use the foundation and the concealer together. But that's like the only complaint I have so far. The concealer and the foundation both blends out very, very well. I would say the concealer is medium coverage. I'm gonna add more highlight. This is a lighter shade. So I'm using this Beauty Bakery Flower Yellow Setting Powder. This is what the packaging looks like. So I've actually been using Beauty Bakery products for a couple of years now. If you guys go all the way down on my Instagram page, I always love their products, I always supported them. So let's try out this setting powder. Oh, who is that? I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So you guys know I don't bake. I never bake. Like I feel like baking just leaves your skin looking so dry and I feel like it makes you look cakey. Yeah. <laughs> looks so good. Let me hush before some of this powder get in my mouth. Okay, so the next new product I will be trying out is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. It's in the shade Wet Shady Beaches. Ah! <laughs> I kind of like that. So this is what the bronzer looks like. The packaging is really, really nice. Okay, so that was really hard to open. I'm going to use my small contour brush that I've been using forever. It is very warm, but it isn't like that noticeable. All right, you guys, so Honestly, I don't really care for this product. Maybe it's because it's not as dark as I like. It did give my face some warmth, but that's just not enough for me. So I had to go back in with my favorite bronzer. Uh, I wouldn't use this again. To be honest, to be honest, I wouldn't use this again because um, it wasn't a lot of pigmentation and it just wasn't dark enough for me. And I hope this isn't the darkest shade. My skin looks great. Cause I'm good, I, skin looks great. And when Mama puts flowers in her hair, and they look really ugly anyway. Wait, what you say? It's I the Wet n Wild Coconut Setting Spray. Cause I love the smell of this, and it's still a new product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face. So I'm going to take that Monte Carlo shade, which is the first color I've used in my crease. And I'm just going to run that on the lower lash line. And the brush I'm using is a Sigma E25 brush. So I'm going to try out the new Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow Loose Highlighter. It looks like this. So I'm going to apply this highlighter with my ABH A23 highlighting brush. So this highlighter is like, it's very smooth. It doesn't have any glitter in it. I can't explain it, but it's, it's bomb. That's all I'm gonna say. I do like it, I will use it again. It's crazy, like, I feel like it's very subtle at the same time. I don't know if it's like the shade, but you, you guys know like some loose highlighters, like they're just too much, like, I can't explain it, but this is just a perfect formula. So for lips, I'm going to try out the new Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in the shade Send Nudes. So this is what it looks like. Is this a gloss? High Shine Lipstick. The color is beautiful. Wow, it's like the perfect nude. love this lip combo let me go ahead and throw this in my purse okay all right you guys so this is the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me trying out all these new products so if you guys did enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe i love you all so so much and i can't wait to see y'all in my next video bye